Good day, everyone. In this lesson, we will be discussing about random variables and their distribution in a fast and a simplest way. And to start with, let's define what is a random variable. When we say a random variable, it is a variable whose values are outcomes of a random phenomenon. This simply means that a random variable is a random real number or a real valued function on a sample space. Moreover, a random variable is a function that assigns a real number to each sample point in a sample space of a random experiment. Now, let's understand first the transformation of random values via mapping. So this is the mapping. This means that random variable x maps from the sample space to all real numbers, which is R, where we can see that the sample space is the set of all outcomes in a random experiment, and each of the outcomes are called as the elements or just simply as the sample points. Moreover, a random variable is denoted by capital letter X, which is here, and the value that is present in the random variable is small letter X. And please note that a random variable can be denoted by any capital letters such as Y, can be also T, can be J, and any other letters in the alphabet, and not just only the capital X. Now, let's have example number one. So suppose two coins are tossed and we are interested to determine the number of heads will come out. Determine the random values of a random variable X. Now to solve this problem, the first thing that we should do is to find the sample space denoted as capital letter S or it can be the omega sign. And yeah. So para mas sayon siya, let us just use the letter S. And we know earlier in the mapping that the sample space is the set of all outcomes in an experiment. To begin with, if you toss a tail coin, the possible outcome is either head or tail. So let's draw a tree diagram to see this clearly. So we have head and tail. Remember that the problem says tossing two coins. So we toss again the coin and we are not sure if it is head or tail. But here, the possible outcome would either be head or and tail. So let's extend we put here head and tail also in the second one this either head or tail so we will put head and tail now so the possible outcomes in this um, combination is h and h or head and head we also have head and tail and then we also have here tail and head tail and head and then last is the tail and tail. Thus, we can say that there are four sample points in the sample space, which is the H and H, the H and T. We also have the T and H, or tail and head. We also have the T and T, or tail and tail, which is just um, four sample points in the sample space. So right after we get the sample space, now we create a table to get the values of the random variable x. So we create a table here. We create two column tables. So, so in this side, in the first column, we put here the outcomes. And then on the second column, is the value of x. Then we have the h and h or the head and head as the first outcome. Then we have also the head and tail, the t and h or the tail and head and the tail and tail. So to get the value of the random variable x, since we, we are asked to determine the number of heads, so we will just count the number of heads in this four outcome. So in the first outcome, we, all, we have here two heads. So we have two as the value of the first outcome. Then we have here one head. So and also have we have one head so one here and we have no heads so we have we will put it zero here in conclusion the value of random variable x are zero we have zero one and two in symbols we can uh, write this one as the variable x is equals to zero one and two which again specify the range of the values in the random variable x so zero one and 
2. Now, given that we know our sample space a while ago, we have S is equals to head and head. We have head and tail, the tail and head, and the tail and tail. So this is our sample space. Now, we are tasked to find the probability values of the following. Let's say the probability of x equals 0. Again, the random variable x refer to the number of heads. So if 0, meaning, so ilan ba yung uh, sample points natin dito sa sample space na walang head since 0 man yung value ng number of heads. So di ba, meron lang tayong isa which is ang tail and tail. Since the rest is meron namang head, which is dito, dito, and dito. So, you only have 1 over, then by yung sample points natin, we have 4. So, 1 over 4. And that is the probability values for uh, having uh, zero heads. So if ano naman, probability of x equals to 1, meaning ano ba yung mga sample points natin na uh, meron lamang isang head. So we can say that itong ito and ito. So may dalawa na sample points na may dalawang uh, may each na head so lagay natin 2 over 4 since may apat na sample points then this can be uh, simplified into 1 half then if we are going to ask for the probability of x equals to 2 so ibig sabihin naman ito na ilan ba yung sample points natin dito sa sample space na merong dalawang heads so meron lamang isa which is itong head and head so we have 1 all over 4 so that is the method for finding the probability values of the random variable x, which refers to the number of heads. Now, the point you have to understand is it is not necessary to mention only one random variable in a random experiment. You can mention any number of random variables. That's why we can give more than one variable in a random experiment. Say, example one, yung kanina, diba we are asked for the random variable x, right? So, in that case, we can also ask for the random variables y, which uh, pwedeng i-label natin as the tails, right? So, since yung variable x is head, so we can label as the random variable y as the number of tails. So, the same process still applies, the same as yung ginawa natin kanina for the random variable x. Now, let's have this example number 2. So, throw a coin 10 times and let R be the number of heads. We take the sample space equals all sequences of length 10 with components head and tail or that could be the 2 raised to 10 all together. A typical sample point is the small omega sign equals the head, head, tail, head, tail, tail, head, head, tail, head. Uh, for this point, the R of a point is 6. This is because there are 6 heads in the given sample point. So so we can count that one as. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six. So this means that there are six sample points in a typical sample point. And note that there are other sample points we can obtain from throwing a coin 10 times. Therefore, the values of the random variable R can be changed. So take note of that. For another random variable R1, we have here R1, is denoted as the number of times a head is followed immediately by a tail. Thus, based on the given or the typical sample point, we can say that its value is 3, or the R sub 1 of a point is 3. Since there are 3 heads ngan yung after niya is tail which is ito ito then we have ito na head so there are three heads that is followed immediately by a tail so next one uh this is as you can see here in this table, this is an example of probability distribution or simply the distribution of a random variable x that we have solved a while ago. So when we say probability distribution, it is means of giving set of possible values of a random variable x, which is here. Ito, ito yung mga set ng possible values ng random variable x, which is 0, 1, and 2. And its probability values, which is the 1 fourth, 1 half, and one fourth. So, paano ba ito nakuha? A while ago, we have solved this. So, we just simply analyzed no, yung, uh, kung ilan yung number of heads doon sa ating sample space. So, when x is 0, then the probability of the value of the random variable x is one fourth. And if this one, it is one half. And if this two, then it is one fourth. So, basically, that is the concept of the probability distribution.
All right, so that ends our lesson for today. No, I hope you understand the concept of random variable and its probability distribution with this quick lesson. So that would be all for today. Have a good one and thank you for listening.